Hi dears, Recapped Master is here. Today I will explain a movie of Doctor Strange the site of library is shown as the movie starts. Some awkward people enter that library, and they kill the librarian there. Then they begin to tear the place books pages there. Then an entity appears there and they start running in fear. And their leader creates a portal, through which they come into another city. But that entity was still after them. His face remains invisible. He holds sway over everything there. It is going to put them into end then that master creates one more portal. And he escapes, taking his friends. That entity was nothing else but a lady. And she had been the instructor of that master. But that evil man had joined the company of evil people. And he was misusing his powers. Actually, he was pursuing a book. Which pages had already been stolen by him. But that lady did not want it so she was after him. Then the scene takes a turn, a city is shown. Where an expert doctor named Doctor Strange resides there. Everyone praises him as he is very expert doctor. He was popularized throughout the world because of his surgeries. But they were ignorant that he had this expertise for a few days. Because he faces a fatal accident after some days. His face gets many wounds to his face. And he is deprived of his hands. He is told that he will be unable to perform any surgery throughout his life. He does not tolerate it and says to his co-worker that. Anyhow, I need to get back this expertise. My hand should be healed. Then Doctor Strange is sent to the neurologist for treatment. He was also expert neurologist. He was popular for he recovered paralyzed man within three days. He got ability to walk. Doctor Strange does not believe in it. Now it is told, this neurologist's fee charges were high. It means, high expenses were required to be treated by this neurologist. But Doctor Strange had not much amount. So he gets worried too much. One day, Doctor Strange's female friend says to him, Coming there. I want to help you. But Doctor Strange sends her scolding. I need not your help. So she leaves as being angry. Then Doctor Strange directly visits to that man who recovered in spite of his paralysis within three days. But that man does not meet Doctor Strange. Because Doctor Strange did not treat him when he was paralyzed. As he can never be healed. Doctor Strange requests him, Tell me, I want to be healed. That man says, okay, I tell you, I went to such a place where I meet many people. I met a master there who recovered me. He is telling about that place in which country that library had shown. That man tells him that you will face many troubles to reach that place. But Dr. Strange says, I will take every risk to regain my ability. And he also moves to the same country for whom Dr. had gone to meet. She was not another one but the same lady who had been shown as an entity in the beginning of the movie. Doctor Strange is brought to that lady. He requests meeting that lady. Can you tell me how you heal the paralyzed people? That lady tells, there is not my role in it. I just explain as you can do what you wish. You just have the determination. Doctor Strange asks, how is it credible? Then that chief lady says to Doctor Strange, getting injuries, you just think that your immune system will recover from it. There is a biological process in your body which protects it. Then Doctor Strange says, yeah, it is true. That lady says, wrong. We can also heal our wounds with our thoughts. Then Doctor says, do you really want that I should believe in your said words? I believe in logic. I don't believe in abstract soul or power. I wasted all my money to reach here which was for my treatment. How mad I am. Hearing it, that lady hits him in his face. Doctor Strange's soul leaves its body. When his soul returns to his body after a time, he feels that he had been knocked out for a while. He begins to ask that lady, what had happened with me? That chief lady touches his head. Then doctor begins to imagine mysteriously. So he believes that she was telling the truth. She has really superpowers. Now that chief lady says to her followers, get him out. I don't want to teach him anything. Doctor, strange apologizes saying, I could not believe in all of them, but I have started to believe now on. And I want to learn. Don't get me out from here. He does not agree to leave that place. The present man there requests that lady pardon him. He has come to learn from you so teach him. It is not compulsory that he will also prove himself like that evil man who had stolen the pages of that book. That man tells that lady Dr. Strange is very expert person and humanity needs him. It will benefit to all if you cure him. After this, they call Dr. Strange inside. Now that lady begins to demonstrate magic to Dr. Strange. She begins to teach him telling what is the technique of it. As it is not the real world where he was living in reality. The real world is that about which that chief lady knows. He starts to understand that there are also other powers in this world. We may be mightiest, using them. 
and we can understand the goal of our life. Here Doctor Strange was acting upon the orders of that lady, and he was also reading those books which was being given to him by her, and that lady's brilliant student who had supported Doctor Strange saying, he may call inside. Now he was also helping Doctor Strange, how will you make something while enchanting? But Doctor Strange is not carrying out a single task. Then the chief lady arrives there, and she orders everyone, go away all except Doctor Strange. Then she creates a small portal through which she and Doctor Strange reach the Mount Everest. There is enough cold. So that chief lady says to Doctor Strange, you could not stay alive here even for half an hour if you don't know how to survive here. Saying it, she leaves from there. In fact, it was a trial for him to check how much persistence has created in him. Is he capable of protecting himself? That chief lady's student says to her, we should take him back. He did not learn anything yet. That chief lady says to him, let him take time. He will learn everything. I have understood. At first sight, Doctor Strange reaches there within a time. It means that he had learned to employ the powers. Indeed, he had taken some time. Afterwards, Doctor Strange goes to a library. He asks for a book. That place is librarian says, no, I cannot hand you over this book right now. So Doctor Strange steals that book, and he begins to read it at night. Then it is also shown that his body is in sleep position, but his soul is reading this book. It means he had attained much supernatural power. He began to learn these things and was also feeling good. So that chief lady leaves, accompanying Doctor Strange, and she says to her, I am satisfied that you are mastering very quickly. Come. I take you in the world of mirror. She says, you can create your own mirror world if you want. You can create anything in it. Remember, it has no connection with the real world what are you doing here. You can only keep an eye on the other world, looking into this mirror world. Now Doctor Strange gradually begins to understand everything. One day, he thinks all of a sudden what is actually the specialty of that book. As that was stolen by that man, who was chased by this chief lady. He moves to library and no one is there. So he starts to read that ancient book which pages were still missing. He views that something has been drawn in this book. And the same thing is also placed in front of him which he wears around his neck. After this, he begins to read that book again. They had created a small portal there, rotating it. The book's missing pages used to reappear. And their eaten thing used to reappear hall. They are still testing it all then chief lady student comes there. He stops him saying what are you doing? You are playing with time. You may also lose your life. Doctor, Strange also asks the librarian of that place, why are there many gates? Why do you not allow anyone to read this book? He tells, these gates will be unlocked, reading this book, which has shielded our country till now. And our opponent may attack us, coming through these gates. He is such a man who will ruin the earth, coming into it. He will victimize the earth. So we are shielding our earth from him. He is our opponent and lives in the dark dimension. And the book you were trying to read, has the enchantment to call him on this earth. Kindly, don't commit such mistake again. They are still conversing it. One of the three gates is unlocked and the same man enters there. Who had stolen some pages of that book in the library. He tells, I have ruined this portal. And your opponent is soon arriving here as being mightiest. I, I have already in companionship with him. I have made a commitment with him. He is about to come here. That man tells that I just need more power for this. At the same time, he explodes at library. Due to this, Doctor Strange falls away from one of the gates, which was opened in New York. Reaching there, Doctor Strange witnesses that there is a costumes in the display case. He is still witnessing it that the same evil man appears before him. It means the same student of Chief Lady who had stolen some pages of book. He says to Doctor Strange, I will end you. Saying it, that man assaults Doctor Strange. But that costume begins to move, seeing Doctor Strange, and it moves out from its display case and begins to guard Doctor Strange. That evil man hits Doctor Strange too much but that costume is guarding him every time. Suddenly, it is seen that costume is stuck with the body of Doctor Strange all of a sudden. Now Doctor Strange had got much power, that he could confront that man easily. Strange. It was the reward of him because he gets some training from the chief lady. And her trainee gets reward which helps him. Doctor. Strange imprisons that evil man, confronting him. That man says, you are not doing well. I want to bring my master on this earth. He is talking about that master for whom he is serving. He tells, he will dominate the earth if he comes here at once. No one will die here. Do you not wish it? That chief lady says, I myself will inspect it. So she moves to that dark dimension. Then the antagonist's man attacks Doctor Strange after it. 
so he gets wounded. But Dr. Strange had now learned to create the portal, so he leaves from there, making a portal. Dr. Strange reaches his female friend. He asks her to take me to the operating room in some way. Then she places Dr. Strange for operation then it is seen that Dr. Strange's soul itself comes out and it begins to operate its body. Seeing it, his friend is left astonished. But it was the same power which he had learnt from that chief lady. Then that antagonist one more man arrives there. He begins to attack him. A great fight starts between them. And it is seen that antagonist's man is strongest. And he beats Dr. Strange in the real world. It means, Dr. Strange has passed away here. His female friend is saddened, seeing it and she begins to treat him with the electric shocks. Consequently, his soul defeats that man, gaining energy. He is also treated with electric shock once more, and here the soul of Doctor Strange returns to his body once more. Then that chief lady also reaches there, and she says to that doctor, you did a good job. You have learnt everything. Become the guard of our earth, and guard us. I will also teach you more powers. Then Doctor Strange says, no, I am a doctor, doctor for humanity. I secure the life of human beings. I have no concern with these souls. I think that I am not a good doctor now, because I have killed a man. That chief lady says to him, don't think about it. He was the man of the antagonist. That chief lady says, no, you cannot do as such. You have taken a complete training from me. Now you are avoiding. Then doctor, strange asks, how much time will it take? I know how you are living your long life. How are you eternal? You surely have a connection with that dark dimension. You get power from there which I don't desire. The chief lady leaves without saying anything. Then that evil man arrives there. It means, the same master of the dark dimension. He was going to ruin this world. Then Doctor Strange hits upon an idea, why should I not change this world into the mirror world? So it will not affect on the real world if any loss is faced here or someone dies. But it was the misunderstanding of Doctor Strange. Because that master could harm the people through the mirror world as being mightiest. The people in real world could also lose their lives if he killed the people here. Now Doctor Strange had to protect his world at any cost. So he begins to think of ideas. Because he still had the tender feelings for humanity. Then Chief Lady also reaches there. She creates a gateway there. This benefits is that Master of Dark Dimension cannot use his powers in that gateway. Because that Chief Lady has shielded the whole earth through this gateway. But that evil man was still wanted to injure those people, using his powers. Then Chief Lady, her student, and Doctor Strange move through that gateway. But they all were badly wounded. Here that Chief Lady's condition is worsened. So she is brought to the hospital. Doctor Strange notices that his soul is leaving his body. Then Doctor Strange's soul comes out of his body. And it stops the soul of Chief Lady going to it. But the Chief Lady says, my time has come now. You used to say me eternal. I was not eternal. I used to take the powers from the dark dimension to protect my world. And it was not wrong on my part, because he steals much information from my knowledge. I was just utilizing it. And it is also possible when you become a master in future. You have also to do the same. Never think negative for anyone after this. Then Chief Lady Souls departs from there. It means that Chief Lady had left from here forever. Now Doctor Strange and Chief Lady student again move to that place. They notice those evil people have ruined the whole library. And they are nearly to destroy the rest of the places. The librarian of that place has also been killed. Then Doctor Strange thinks an idea. He remembers. While reading the book, he had rotated the time loop. As a result, time had retrieved. Now they need to use it. He begins to rotate it and the time starts reversing. And past time begins to repeat. Their friend who was librarian had come into life. But it had passed much time. The master of dark dimension had stepped on this earth. And he was about to devastate this earth. The master of the dark dimension stats to attack them. Consequently, Doctor Strange falls down, and his worn thing touches the ground. And the time exactly stops there. Finding the chance, Doctor Strange goes before the master of the dark dimension. And that master ends Doctor Strange there. Then it is seen that time was retrieving. The master of dark dimension kills Doctor Strange for many times but he was revived. Actually, he had created a time loop. So everything was reversing. Doctor, Strange says to that master, I will end this loop on one condition. You will not be an advantage if I don't end this loop. Because I will be revived when you will put me into death. Just end this turmoil. Why do you not throw out the idea to ruin the world? So that master does not agree with him at all. Then Doctor, Strange says, okay, 
Just be entrapped in this time loop. You will never be able to finish me. How will you attack until you pass through it? At last, that dark dimension's master is knelt down, and he disappears from there, taking all his companions. Then it's seen that there is no threat of attack on their earth. Everything comes to its routine. A worn thing around Dr. Strange's neck. HR places it on its actual place, taking it off from his neck. Now everything is turned good. But they still had a threat, as Chief Lady was died. So anyone could attack them after being stronger. Then Dr. Strange says, I am prepared for it. Because I have learned all her powers from the Chief Lady, I will employ them rightly. And the movie completes on this scene. Thanks for watching.